We saw uh, the red carpet treatment. We've seen all that pomp and ceremony. Um, Theresa May whining and dining the Trumps, a black tie dinner. And the moment, moments after they go into that dinner, this uh, interview emerges. It's been released. And not, not only is he criticizing Theresa May for the way she does business and how she handled the Brexit, he also tries to take a bit of credit and blows his own horn. I mean, he says things like, I actually told Theresa May how to do it, um, you know, how she should do it, how she should negotiate. But she didn't agree. She didn't listen to me. Um, he also was asked if she called. He, uh, he called her a bossy school teacher. That's something that's been uh, reported in the media here. And he said, No, no, no. Uh, I never said anything bad about her. That is fake news. I think she's a nice person. And you know, the one thing that Theresa May really wanted from this visit was a trade deal with the United States. And on day one of a four-day visit, he's basically scuppered that quashed it all together, basically saying that this definitely will affect the U.S. and uh, most likely in a negative way uh, because of the way she's handling the whole Brexit deal. We know the U.S. and the U.K., they've always had what's been called the special relationship, but perhaps that's taken on a totally new meaning at this point. Absolutely. And I, we can probably safely say that the relationship between him and Theresa May, the U.K., uh, under Theresa May's leadership is probably on very shaky ground. And let's not forget, this is uh, about a week after uh, Boris Johnson resigned as the foreign minister for T under Theresa May. Uh, he's a political rival of Theresa May, and Trump has basically said he'd make a great representative uh, of, um, of the UK in, in regards to Boris Johnson. Um, he was asked directly if he thought Boris Johnson could replace Theresa May, and to that he said, uh, you know, I don't want to uh, get pit one against another. But, you know, he said everything short of that, basically. And, you know, at the end of the day, we've seen a president uh, who has changed or who doesn't really seem to care about the traditional relationships, the special relationship with the UK, um, he, the way he's behaved at the G7, NATO. He, this is someone who's not interested in trying to retain those historical ties. For him, uh, it's all about personal relationships. Uh, and he's made no secret of the fact that he's looking to make a bilateral separation separate deals. He doesn't really care what the other presidents did. He's going to do things all on his own. Uh, but, you know, this is an excruciatingly embarrassing incident for Theresa May, because while they're having this dinner, he's basically uh, egg in the face, stabbing her, stabbing her in the back uh, at exactly the same time.